What's going on guys? My name is Alex and in today's video, we're going to be going over how I was able to quit my nine to five job in six months. If this sounds interesting to you, leave a like and subscribe and let's get straight into the video. So how was I actually able to quit my nine to five job in six months, all being a college student at the age of 21? Um, let's get straight into the video guys. So a little backstory on who I am um, from the ages of 18 to 19. I'm 21 right now, but the ages of 18 to 19, I was actually working at a local grocery store for about 20 to 40 hours per week um, during high school because I, I got this job in high school. During high school, I'd go from school straight to work and I would get out at like 930 every single day. Um, and then on my Sundays and Saturdays, I'd work anywhere from 12 to 9 to 3 to 9. So it was really stress stressful and then also during the summertime i would pick up a lot more hours but this was one of my first official jobs ages 16 17 i did some under the table work like caddying at golf courses uh, but this was my first official job it was it was pretty shitty and as you can see we're going to reflect on this picture here in a couple of minutes but i'm holding a sign that says unstrike unfair labor practices we'll get into that in a little bit but the job that I recently, most recently quit was working at a bank. If you live in Canada or anywhere from Maine to Florida in the United States, you may have heard of TD Bank and you could kind of see it on my uh, name tag there. But I worked at a, a bank as a bank teller slash financial advisor for about two years, working anywhere from 20 to 35 hours per week. Um, and it was very stressful. And I want this video to be a beacon of hope for those that are currently working a job or looking to quit soon. Understand that I was very, very stressed out during this time. I had a lot of things going on and working a job absolutely sucked. And it doesn't help when the job um, is trying to remove your benefits. And let's get a little bit into this photo on the left here. So in that photo there, um, I was actually working at a grocery store called Stop and Shop. And you may or may not have been familiar with the strike that actually happened at Stop and Shop. So if you go into Google type and Stop and Shop goes on strike and you scroll down to this New York Times article, they'll go a little bit more into it in depth. But basically this grocery store, which is a huge company, was trying to remove benefits uh, from the workers, right? And I believe it says it right here. Um, the workers on strike included cashiers, stockers, ba uh, baggers, just about everyone was on strike. Um, during the negotiations, employees argued that Chain's parent company, you know, reported profits of more than $2 billion. So they, this company has made over $2 billion in total profit, um, and they were trying to remove our benefits. That is why we went on strike. It was a very miserable point in my life because I thought I was going to lose my job. Uh, we only went on strike for 11 days because of a, we had a union that helped fought for us as uh, workers. We actually resolved the issue. Uh, but uh, the whole point of this story is to get into one main point here. I want you to take a couple of minutes here, a couple seconds, whatever, and just listen to what I'm saying. I was able to quit my job because of this exact reason right here. I went on to later work at another job, but this this moment stood with me for a long time and it's going to stay with me for the rest of my life because it was at this moment I really realized that companies don't care about their employees as much as we like to think or hope they would. At any given point, they're looking to better their pockets rather than, you know, help the employees. And I could to some degree understand that, but it was that reason right there that made me want to go into exactly what I am now. And we're going to go right now into the exact things that I use to be able to quit my job. But I want you to understand this was what lit a fire underneath me because I was going to college with the assumption that I was going to work a job in some kind of um, box office and just work as a marketer in some office or some you know firm or something like that. But that all changed at this exact moment right here when this happened. Um, so let's get into exactly what I did. So it's in my name, affiliate. So the first thing I learned how to do was affiliate marketing. Now, before I found any success with affiliate marketing, which by the way, is a business model that allows you to promote other people's products and earn a commission, I failed at many other business models. And for those that are kind of interested in affiliate marketing, I want you to understand that this video is not going to show you how to do affiliate marketing. I've already made videos right here on the screen. You can either click on one of these videos that explain how to do affiliate marketing. This is just more the mindset I was going through. Um, so I make anywhere I was at one point making anywhere from five to $10,000 per month with affiliate marketing, but this didn't happen overnight. I had to fail at other businesses, including drop shipping, printing on print on demand, um, and a whole bunch of other things that I failed horribly at before I found any success with affiliate marketing. Um, and it really was the first thing I started to find a lot of success with because it's very beginner friendly. I did it using organic marketing. I didn't have to pay for ads. 
So the profit margins were a lot higher and the risk to reward ratio was great because I didn't have a lot of expenses with affiliate marketing. And once again, if you want to learn more about that, you can see my YouTube channel has a bunch of training tutorials on how to get started with affiliate marketing. So this was the first main thing that I did and I scaled it up. I focused on one thing. And I want you guys to understand that to be able to quit your job, you have to master one skill. So it starts off with a side hustle as an additional side of income. And then you slowly start to build it up to be that main thing that completely replaces your nine to five income. So this was that for me. This alone was enough to take, you know, you know, replace my job previously. But I really started to do some other things that helped me be able to quit within six months because you need multiple streams of income, especially if you're not working for a company, because one thing companies offer is that sense of security. While as a you're being your own freelancer or entrepreneur, you don't have that security blanket. It's all up to you to make sure you develop multiple streams of income. So this was the first main thing, affiliate marketing. Another thing I started to do was freelance work. So this basically means creating websites and campaigns on Fiverr. Uh, we'll go into that in a couple of minutes here. But Fiverr is a great website to start hosting your own skills and getting paid for it. So for example, if you know how to edit videos, if you know how to make thumbnails, photography, how to write emails, anything like that. You can even be a virtual assistant if you want to. Fiverr is the place to go. And I learned how to create websites very young and uh, at a very young age. Um, I learned how to design websites and people that own businesses, they don't want to take you know time out of their busy schedule to do the small things like creating a website. So they'll go on these freelance websites like Fiverr to go out and find people that will do it for them at a discounted price. I'll be honest with you guys, I wasn't making an obscene amount of money doing this, but it was enough to, at my age and for my expenses, take care of some of those things that I had to pay for. So this is a great way to get started. So this is it here, Fiverr. It's 100% free to sign up. You can sign up here and become a seller and start hosting your skills. So for example, if you know how to do log design or logo designs rather, or drop shipping or something like that, you can literally see that there are plenty of people that are offering their skills. You can do anywhere from $20 to $30, depending on what you're doing. If you become really good, you can even charge $95. Obviously, the better the skill is or the more um, demand the skill has, you can charge more. Um, so, that, for example, they're charging you know a lot more for a logo than some of these other people because they're making professional logos. So this is where, let's say you know how to edit videos. So video editor this i know definitely people are always looking for video editing for youtube and stuff like that so you know people look how much people will charge just for you to edit some videos and you might think 10 20 dollars not a lot but if you do that times 200 because this is the amount of orders they received or times 612 it starts to build up over time and it's all about starting somewhere and growing over time you're not going to see bigger returns immediately but start somewhere right start somewhere people charge even more for this um, so Fiverr is literally one of the best places. So if you have a skill, you can do this in your free time, upload your skill, put a description of what you do and how you can help people and put your own price. The best thing is you can put your own price. You could look at the market, see how competitive it is and put your own price. And there you go. So that's the second thing that I started to do. Okay. So stocks is the third thing I started to do to be able to quit my job within six months. This one is actually very hit or miss for some people. But for me at my age, I did a lot of long-term investing. So that means I put my money in S and P's and certain things that are proven to have a higher return over time. And I'm not a financial advisor, so I'm not going to sit here and tell you what you should do. But for me personally, this is what helped me because I started to see returns over a period of time. I actually started investing around the age of 18. So three years, I've been able to build my portfolio to have enough money. A lot of it's passive, actually all of it's passive, right? Because it's stocks. Um, and I've been lucky enough to take opportunity on the GameStop stocks that went viral, the AMC stocks that went viral, those pump and dumps. I you know, was lucky enough to take advantage of that. And I'm not saying you should play off that and hope that happens, but I recommend anyone, especially if you're young, get invested in stocks. It really, you know, I know a lot of people are afraid because they don't know what to do, but there's a tons of free videos on YouTube that show you exactly how you can get started. And it's all about just making smart long-term investments, not trying to make a quick return within the first couple of weeks or something like that, right? You're not a day trader. You're looking to build stocks over time, build a portfolio. So in the next 10, 15 years, your money is not depreciating. And in fact, it's actually making more money for you. It's compounding over a period of time. So stocks is the third thing I did. And I recommend everyone, no matter if you're, you know, you 
plan on becoming a day trader or not this is something that you can literally be putting a, a couple hundred dollars per month aside that builds up wealth over time all right guys real quick before we continue on with the video so as far as what i used to invest in stocks i personally like Robinhood. it's actually very simple and easy to use very beginner friendly and for someone like me who's not that big on stocks they made this platform so simple and broke it down so simple to the point where anyone can understand stocks with this Basically, in the description of this video, if you want to sign up with Robinhood, you and I both will earn a free stock that can range anywhere from a couple dollars to a couple hundred dollars. So it's 100% free to sign up. Um, once you sign up, you and I will both get a free stock. So it's literally nothing whatsoever. And you get to start investing in your portfolio and start making some passive income. So check the description of this video right now. You'll see it in there. Um, you can click that link, sign up. We'll both get a free stock and it'll be on your way to start making money. Alrighty, so I saved one of my favorite ones for last social media guys we're literally living in a digital age this is ridiculous how many self-made entrepreneurs the internet has been able to make specifically social media this includes tiktok instagram a little bit of snapchat facebook um, pinterest and youtube so i actually leverage social media organically uh, growing my multiple accounts to some odd thousands of followers and be able to create content that inspires and motivates people and then also be able to partner with certain deals and brands and be able to make content surrounded by their products and services and earn money doing it. This is social media. Now, of course, it's not as easy as I just made it out to be, uh, but this is one of the biggest things I did, including YouTube. This video that you're watching right now is helping support me. So I really appreciate that, guys. Hitting that like button also helps boost this content to the YouTube algorithm. Um, so I can't thank you guys enough for staying to this part of the video and watching. Uh, but social media, guys, take advantage of it. Instagram is one of those platforms that is trying to grow as much as the content creation um, area grows, goes. Um, they're trying to pay more people and this video is probably gonna I'm gonna look back a year from now and look at this video But Instagram is going to be paying people to post content like TikTok does right the TikTok has a creator fund If you qualify you can literally get paid to make TikTok same thing with Instagram They're gonna be doing this where they're gonna be paying people for their reels um, YouTube is creating a fund where they upload if you upload YouTube shorts and qualify for their program They're gonna pay you as well So there's so many platforms that are taking advantage of this because creation is moving towards more to social media This is where content creation has become um, This is where a lot of companies is focused on is growing their social media page because their organic reach is unrealistic it's crazy and social media is one of the biggest things that I can attribute to my success and what's allowed me to quit my job. All right, guys, so I want to just quickly end off the video by leaving you guys with this quote right here that helped me quit my job because a lot of this is mindset as well. Um, so basically, the quote goes, you either work to build your dreams or you work to build someone else's. And basically, that quote is simply saying you can work to, you know, work at a company or location that you know, you're basically helping build someone else's career and their own foundation, or you can be your own entrepreneur, your own freelancer and start building your dreams, have more free time and, and be able to build wealth. And it's not going to be easy by any stretch of the imagination. I had to make a lot of sacrifices in those six months, you know, cutting out a lot of things I personally love to do. But in the end, it's worth it. I'm still working towards reaching my points and my goals. Uh, but I can't I literally wake up every day not having to worry about commuting to work, not having to worry about someone telling me when to go on my lunch break and when to, you know, arrive and leave. It's the best feeling in the world. And I know a lot of people that are watching this video want to feel that exact feeling. So definitely work hard hard towards your goals. I hope this video left you with some knowledge. If anything I said resonated with you, make sure you like and please subscribe if you want to see more great content like this. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys all next time. Take care.